Hello there, I'm Raja and welcome to your 5th Unity 5 2D Racing Game Tutorial Series. So, uh, uh, so far in this series we have created a car that moves and we can also control this car by using the left and right arrow keys. So the next problem we have is we have to make this movement more realistic. So as an example, if I press the left arrow key, as you can see I can move beyond the track but we don't want to do that because we want our car to be moved only when we are inside the track not beyond that okay so we want to limit the movement of the car until this in the left and until this in the right direction so that's what we're gonna do in this tutorial so let's get started so the very first thing I'm gonna do is uh, let's play it now move the car to the extreme left okay move the car to the extreme left as far as you can so I think this is my extreme left so and what we're gonna do is from from the hierarchy select the car and we are gonna see we can take a look at the transform X transform component of the car okay when the car is at the extreme left let's take a look at the transform component and uh, take a look at the X transform component of the car so it is minus 2.2670 now let's move to the extreme right and it is 2.23218 uh, I think I'm gonna go with 2.2 uh, I'm gonna just round that value I'm gonna take 2.2 from here so at the left side the minimum value should be minus 2.2 and then the at the right side the maximum value should be 2.2 so we want our car to be moved until minus 2.2 in the left and plus 2.2 in the right so let's go and implement that in our code so open monodevelop and open the car controller script I have opened it here so first of, first of all I'm sorry so first of all I'm gonna create two public float variables and I'm gonna name it mean position or mean pose and max pose okay or maybe I can only give it a value max pose okay because we can uh, put a minus before that and that will be our left so in the max pose I'm gonna put the value that we have got from here so let's take a look at that value again let's move it to the extreme right and the value in the position dot x is 2.23 and I'm gonna take 2.2 for that okay so the maximum value is 2.2 until which we want our car to be moved in the right direction so that is why uh, in the max pose I'm gonna put 2.2 so now what you're gonna do is here the position dot x value of the car is getting incremented uh, due to our input and we are putting that position dot x temporary value into our original position of the car that is this transform dot position so we want to edit the value or we want to limit the value of position dot x okay we want to limit the value of position dot x so that uh, that value remains within our max position value so in order to limit a value we have a special function in unity that is called mathf dot oops not that mathf dot clamp so what clamp does is it just limits the value of a variable uh, into the to a min and a max value so open a parenthesis and first of all we have to give the value that we want to limit now we want to limit the value of position dot x and next we have to give the minimum value now uh, as you can see here the max position is 2.2 so the minimum position at the left is minus 2.2 and the max position is 2.2 oh and we have to give a f here to make it afloat otherwise unity will give us a lot of errors so that's our math.clamp method.clamp now this method.clamp will return us the value by limiting it to minus 2.2 and 2.2 so we have to catch that value in we have to put that value in position dot x variable I don't know what is happening okay so 
we are limiting the value of position at x and then we are putting the new limited value inside position at x and finally we are assigning it in transform dot position so what will happen is the position dot x value or the original transform dot position value of the car will be limited between minus 2.2 and 2.2 so we will not be able to move our car beyond this point in left and right direction so let's return to unity and let's check out what we have done so uh, the max position let's uh, go and remove the public from here or maybe make it remain so from here the max position let's put it 2.2 .2. okay so from the car select the car and the car controller script max position and put 2.2 .2 here so now let's go and run it let's move to the left direction and as you can see if I try I cannot move beyond this point because we have limited the value now if I try a right now as you can see I cannot move in right direction to beyond that point because that is our maximum point that we have set so we have more realistic movement of the car now so that's it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned something and a lot more things are coming in this video so keep watching make sure to subscribe and if it if this video really helped you please hit the like button and share it with your friends so thank you very very much for watching this video and see you in the next video so let's go and see you in the next video thanks